The following video clip is from TrainSignal's Windows Vista training course, featuring nearly 19 hours of Windows Vista training. And now we're going to go out to the actual reliability and performance monitor. Okay, so this is the uh, full-scale tool that's built into Windows Vista. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this resource overview, and it started up uh, as soon as I opened this up. And up top, we have a little, uh, I guess, utilization area for CPU, hard disk, network utilization, and then memory. And you can kind of see it going into action right now. And then this is just going to measure and monitor your system resources. So it kind of gives you a feel for everything that's going on. Now, if we want to get these to go baddie a little bit, we can uh, open up some programs. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens um, to all four of the different system resources. So I'm going to launch Internet Explorer a couple times. And even launch Virtual PC, which should uh, spike the memory quite a bit. Uh, if I could find it. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our performance monitor. There it is. And take a look at what happens as we start all these programs. You can see the CPU spikes. Okay, and then here you see the actual hard drive access spike. And then memory went through the roof. All of a sudden now we've got, uh, why did this jump so far here? Okay, and memory utilization is showing it's actually up, you know, through the roof. We're actually completely maxed out on memory. Remember how virtual PC works. You have to actually allocate a certain amount of memory uh, to the virtual PC itself. So at this point right now, I'm allocating about half the memory to the virtual machine, and only half the memory is left over for this uh, host operating system here. So that's why we have this memory here maxed out, and this is our current level of memory. Network utilization maxed out and it went back down again. Um, it's really not consuming a lot of network resources doing what we're doing. If we were to copy information over the network, you'd see this spike a lot more though. Okay, now other things you can do from here. You can click CPU up top. That's going to go ahead and open this up and it's going to give you a rundown of what exactly the processes that are running down below. So you see the description of what's running, how many threads are running, and then the CPU utilization. Okay, over here to the far right, if we uh, move this over, we have average CPU utilization. Okay, so kind of a cool thing, um, just a quick rundown. And then you can click each of these different boxes and it'll close the other one and, and open the new one. So here you see that, uh, let's actually close CPU, and then we open up disk. Okay, so we're looking at the actual, uh, what's happening with the hard drive subsystem. Here we have network. And then finally, we have our memory. Okay, so this is just a resource overview, as it says up top, but it's kind of a cool way of getting a quick snapshot of what's going on with your system. Now, to get more detail, you need to go into the monitoring tools, and the two main tools are performance monitor, okay, and this up here that we saw, this summary, this basically is uh, the equivalent of performance monitor, but kind of throwing some tools in here real quick. So here you see performance monitor running, and right now there's only one counter in here, and this is the CPU proce uh, percent processor time for the CPU. So you can see that below. It's color-coded in red, scale of 1, percent processor time. If I wanted to add additional counters, what I need to do is just come up here, click Add. Then I need to come in here and choose the actual main component, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, for example, I could add memory, and then I need to add the specific memory element that I wanted to actually measure. So if I wanted to measure uh, page faults per second, for example, I could add this item by clicking Add here down below. You can see it added. Then I click OK. Okay, and then it's supposed to be in red here. That's probably not a good color for it. So what I'd want to do is uh, come up here and actually uh, double click this because if I double click it then I can select what I want to use here and then change the color. So I'm going to change it to blue and I'll click OK. Okay, now we can see the actual um, memory page faults per second measurement in blue compared to the CPU util utilization in red here. Okay, so that just gives you a quick rundown of how the performance monitor works and there's all sorts of stuff that you can run in there. Okay, and then views up top, log data, the graph time, if you want to highlight something, you can highlight a particular piece. 
Okay, and then this would then delete it, uh, delete one of the counters off. So all sorts of stuff. If you want to freeze it, kind of see what's going on right now, not let it run. Okay, you can start it up again. Now, a new thing they added to the performance monitor to make it the reliability and performance monitor is this reliability monitor. <laughs> Go figure. Now, this is really cool. When I first saw this, I was pretty impressed by it. But look up here. Basically, it's it's measuring the system stability. And back at this point in time, it was at a 10 level. Okay, so this is this scales out of 10. And then as we go through here, here's the rated st uh, system stability at this point right now. You can see that it's at a 7.4 rating. And it lowers it or raises it based upon software installs, uninstalls, what happens, application failures, hardware, windows, miscellaneous failures. So what you can do is move this back to any point in time. And let's see why at this time... I was actually rated an 8.23 higher rating. Okay, and then back here you can get a feel for what actually happened here, like this informational, this software uninstall or install. If we look down here under software install, it says exactly what was installed in this system. Uh, Camtasia Studio was installed, uh, keyboard device, USB human interface, all this stuff. Application failures that went on that day. Uh, this launch2.exe application, whatever that is, stopped working. Okay, And you can advance forward and take a look at exactly what happened in this point in time. So it's just kind of like a log of everything that's gone on on your system. So I found this to be really cool. And uh, you know I can come here. This shows what happened, what was uninstalled. Here we had a Windows failure. If we check that out and then go down here to Windows failure, we can scroll down and just see. We don't get a lot of detail, but it says the operating system stopped working. Okay. Uh, one day later, we have an application failure. And if we go take a look at our application failure, let's see what we get. Uh, the camrecorder.exe stopped working. Okay. So pretty cool. And this allows you to kind of uh, backtrack and see how stable your system was and then track what applications crashed at what particular time. So you can kind of a, a road map, uh, if you will, of putting all this stuff together and just getting a better feel for what your you know system has done over the past however long. So and if you look here, this system has only been in play for um, basically about a month, you know, not even at this point right now. So this will keep track of this for you know whatever time period you want. Select all, select a date. If you want to make this date you know, period uh, shorter or longer, you can do that, provided your system has been in existence all that time. Okay, then we have uh, data collector sets, allows you to define different uh, collections of data that you want to actually measure, and then reports. If you want to go into reports, you can define specific reports, um, or you can look at the system reports to get a feel for what type of uh, information you can take a look at. Okay, so that's the reliability and performance monitor tool. I think it's pretty cool, uh, especially useful when you want to measure one particular element of something. You know, you want to check things out and, and see what happens when you have these three particular programs running, for example. Or see why your system is running so slow. You know, you can run this, have all the programs that you're typically running, and then do some, uh, you know, measuring just based on all those. Set up a baseline and kind of check all that stuff out. Okay, let's go ahead and close out some of these other apps so we don't have all this background stuff running. Okay, and then let's go back over here to OneNote.